Hey basic travelers and welcome back to Travel Tips Tuesday. Should you ever buy frequent flyer miles? Well that is a topic that sparks hot debate around the points and miles world. Generally, you should never just buy miles speculatively, especially if you plan on leaving them in your account. Frequent flyer programs often devalue and it's generally considered a poor investment to make this decision. However, for the sake of argument, let's check out a few situations in where buying miles might make sense. One, there's a great sale or promotion going on. Every blue moon, Airline promotions are just too good to pass up, but like with anything, it should depend on your situation and should not just be purchased because a great deal is going on. Two, when the price of the ticket is far more expensive than buying the miles. Usually, the cash fare of business class tickets and above carry astronomical cash prices, and that's why we in this hobby love to collect the points and miles. These give us experiences that would usually never be possible otherwise. Sometimes though, you can find deals so good that it's just too hard to pass up. And if you can swing it, you can save those hard-earned miles for another redemption. Also remember that you still will have to pay taxes and fees even on a mileage redemption. And those are going to vary greatly from airline to airline. I'm looking at you, British Airways. 3. If you need to top off your mileage band. This is probably the most typical situation seen. Maybe you were just a little short of that great redemption toward your exciting trip overseas. And you know you won't have time to collect the miles properly and you want to lock in that precious space. Purchasing the extra miles needed to top off can be a great way to secure your seat. Of course, you will have spent more than you truly wanted to on a great redemption, but you still pay far less than the published cash price. Check out the following situation I just had in Asia. Trying to get home amongst COVID, I was looking for a flight back home. We are flying through Bangkok with very limited options to return back to the United States. After I bought my wife's ticket on miles, we had only about 21,000 miles left needed for the business class ticket. So needing about 49,000 more for the 70,000 mile reward on American Airlines, I took advantage, no, bad pun, of an American Airlines promotion to secure the extra miles needed so that we can both enjoy a Japan Airlines business class seat for over 18 hours. When I evaluated my options, I could have used some of my Chase UR points. However, even the best deal was almost 60,000 points and close to $1,000 in cash. And that was just for economy. Additionally, American is not a transfer partner of Chase, so it wasn't possible to transfer the additional miles needed to my account. British Airways is a transfer partner, and it could have worked for my flight needed. However, since I use a distance-based award chart, it wouldn't have been far more than for what was needed. At the end of the day, this costs a little over $1,000 to get the miles needed. While it sounds like a lot, it just really came down to comfort and what you want as a points and miles collector. For me personally, we had enough, more than enough miles to fly economy, but given the 30 plus hours of travel and layovers, it seemed best to be just as comfortable as possible. I wanted to give you a little bit of a breakdown of what this should look like when you encounter a conundrum such as this. Make sure you do plenty of research and do what works best for your situation. So do you have a success story involving buying miles you needed to finish off a great redemption? Let us know in the comments below and make sure you subscribe to our channel for new videos every Tuesday. See you next week, basic travelers.